the 74 Challenger restoration. All right, folks, it is finally time to tackle these front frame rails. There's quite a bit of uh, rod up in this area. Now, the bumper bracket attaches to this point right here, so there's a large flat plate sitting on top of this, probably right up to about here. And what's happened over time is all the salt water has just sat in here and corroded these front frame rails. What I plan on doing is, if you come in here and take a look, so there's a couple of layers to these front rails. Um, I'm going to detach this front section of the rail and there's probably a lot of back section that will need to be rebuilt as well but I'm just gonna kind of peel the layers off this onion and then we'll um, we'll put some new steel in now other than that there's a couple of spots in the suspension area that need a little bit of attention I might come back to this after I sandblast because I want to get everything in here nice and clean and then my plan is to come around through all these suspension components and fully weld everything. Now on the other side, um, there's a couple of holes. Actually, I'll just come around and show you. Got my light. So the other side's a, this side is a bit worse. So I'll need to do a little bit of work down in here first. And you can see even right at that mounting point, it's rotted out. Um, so this side's gonna need a little bit more tension. The front part isn't as bad um, on the passenger side, but like I said, we have more troubles in there. Inside these, um, I don't know what you can call them, shock uprights, the uh, suspension mount points, they're not too bad, like it's really rotten in here. A lot of uh, a lot of rust, but I'm gonna, I think once I hit this with the sandblaster, I think it'll be, um, I think it's going to be okay. I don't think I'm going to have to replace anything in there. I will come around and fully weld a lot of these components just to give it some uh, additional strength. Okay, that's what we're working on for this episode, so uh, let's get started. All right, well, that was pretty easy. So here's the rotten section that uh, we just cut out. Behind, um, behind this hole, there was this um, mounting plate and then uh, just loose inside there uh, was this nut. So this had broken off, who knows when. So I'll make a, new, a whole new outfit for that. And then inside here you can see it's it's all full of sand so when I was sandblasting when I had the floor pan out I guess a lot of the sand ended up coming up this channel. This piece right here obviously there's a gigantic hole in that so we're gonna fix that up and this bottom here that's a threaded nut behind so other than that this isn't too bad the bottom section is pretty good so we'll just uh, just use that as a template. We'll recreate um, all the holes that are supposed to be there. And uh, we can throw that guy back on. So here's what it looks like, all cleaned up. Spent some time in here, just cleaning up. Um, the bottom section of these is, is pretty good. So, uh, try and get the light in here. Uh, can't quite get it down there. I can see it a bit. Not nearly as bad as the back frame rails. <laughs> Alright, so since I got this all cleaned up, I'm going to put some uh, rust encapsulator on there first. Get it uh, as far back as I can down that rail. And then we can start uh, getting the new stuff on.
We have our uh, frame rail patch complete. And I've uh, reattached that uh, nut that was on the back. So I just made the um, a replacement for that existing plate that was there. And uh, I reused uh, the same nut, just welded it back in. Okay, so I've got this ready to go on. And then I also have this other small little patch that's gonna fill that other rotten section. So we're gonna start by attaching this one on and then we'll uh, finish it off with this guy. Well, that turned out nice. That looks a lot better than uh, what we started with. Happy with how that turned out. Once I smooth that all down, uh, you probably won't even know the patch is there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side now. All right, we're moving over to the passenger side now. This side's a little bit worse, but we're gonna do the same thing. We can uh, start the cut right around here, bring it somewhere around here. We'll put a whole new section. Now for this part right here, um, it's pretty rotten in here. I think what I'm going to do is actually take these uh, suspension pieces off. These are just bump stops and um, I'm not super worried about them being realigned, like exactly. But what I will do though is I'll, I'll make some kind of a template and take a bunch of measurements so that I can put these things back on as, as close as I can get them to. But I want to get behind this because this is really rotten in here, especially this back section. You can see it's it's separated down there. There's a lot of rot behind this stuff. And uh, I'll do it on this side. If it goes really well, I might actually do it on the other side. There's no holes on the other side yet, but it is quite corroded. So that's the plan for this side. Well, I'm glad I decided to take that apart. Found a rat's nest in there. This suspension bump stop, uh, it came off in, in one piece. And I have a measurement to relocate it. So I'll clean this entire unit up and uh, we can throw that back on. But yeah, look at this. I don't even know how it would have got in here. That's the dead animal there, no. Wow, the amount of uh, dirt that sits in these, in these frame rails is, it's incredible. Yeah. And then the front spot, yeah, pretty much exactly the same as uh, the other side. Yeah. 
So anyway, I'll get that all cleaned up. I'll seal it. I might take this uh, <laughs> this last remaining spot out as well. Just put a whole new piece in there. Then I can coat everything. <sighs> yeah. All right, so uh, I did cut that other section out. Just makes more sense that I can put that back together with one solid piece. So here's what I'm up against. Um, we've got this rotten area here. That's pretty much the same as the other side. Um, inside here, everything's real nice and solid in there. So I've cleaned it all up and uh, just coat that with some uh, rust encapsulator. This area all in here is, um, it's pretty good. Just a lot of surface rust, so we'll uh, clean that up as well. Put some rust encapsulator on. But uh, in here is where things start getting really bad. So the bottom of this rail is uh, is pretty pitted out. And then along the back side as well, there's some, uh, there's some holes there where it started to pit through. The bottom section of that uh, support bracket is completely rotten out. So what I'll do when I cut the template, I'll, um, I'll add a little section here so that I can wrap it around the bottom and then the back side, I'll just put a, cut some of that rod out, put a patch over that and then this little bracket here, that's uh, really no problem to rebuild. I can put a new one of those in. Other than that, uh, yeah, everything else uh, looks pretty good. So I'll start working on the template for that now and then we'll, uh, yeah, start patching things up. Alright, so rust encapsulator has been drying for quite some time now. So we have everything coated in there, quite nice. Now I'm just going to grab some cardboard. We're going to make a, uh, a template to replace that whole piece. And then we can start uh, fitting it and then get it welded in. Not the prettiest welds in the world, but it's on there. So for this back section here, just the way I had cut things out, it needed to be welded from the other side, so that did not go so great. Everything just wanted to drip down, so when I get this on the rotisserie and spin it around, I'll uh, grind that section down and re-weld everything. And then for the bump stop, 
it needs to install right about here and that's kind of where that rough section of welds is so it's not sitting flat so again I'm gonna wait to reinstall this bump stop until I have this thing spun around on a rotisserie anyway it's on smooth those welds down and uh, be good to go so after seeing how bad it was behind those bump stops, I've decided to come back to the driver's side and I am going to pull this section off so that I can fix up the, uh, the frame rail behind here as well. The middle section and back here, not as bad as the other side, so I can get away without doing a uh, full panel. This section in here is actually... Uh, Good and strong, but just behind this bump stop looks pretty bad, so. But anyway, I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. I think this is a good place to uh, stop for now. Well, thanks again for tuning in, folks. Hope you like this one. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.